What is up YouTube? Just here bringing you back here with another video With none other than your host Invisible E You see uh, I seem to have come across this video By our Cynthia G With you know appearing on a video with her sisters And In this video she was talking about this what this incident was about um you know this George Floyd situation about how you know what happened with the police officer and, you know putting his knee on his neck and suffocating him to death and you know Cynthia G was talking about I mean she was the most vocal one out of her sisters like always she's always the most vocal ones that's talking a lot of nonsense when she uh, said, um, she she said that black women should stop protesting whenever a black man is murdered by a police officer. Stop marching. And you know, I I felt some sort of way about that because. She claimed that she's not a feminist, but that is a very feminist kind of talking point, you know what I'm saying? And I just, you know, I just reminisce, I was just reminiscing that as to all the time black men has been protecting black women. But you don't hear a black man would ever say to you to stop protesting for black women or something like that or stop sticking up for black women because you see since the beginning of time I've been seeing you know uh, for a long time black men have always been protecting black women even uh, your, your your favorite your favorite you know hood banger you know Jaquan always been beating up other men always been defending his sisters especially when uh they they run their mouth and they get ass kicked by their boyfriend here comes their brother Jaquan how to defend his sister and beat this guy up possibly kill him and end up in jail for life or getting killed himself. You see, black men have always been in the front line. As soon as anyone disrespects black women, they always there to defend black women. So why Cynthia G is talking a whole lot of nonsense? I mean, I don't know why I'm making this video, but you know, I just feel like someone needs to tell this silly woman or if she's a woman I don't know what she someone needs to tell her that she's out of her mind because you see you're saying things like stop stop protesting for black men black men should be protesting by themselves black men should be men and building whatever you see Things like this is just going to start problems. Because you see, you can start protesting for black men. But you see, when the cop ends up doing the damage to you or killing you, because you see, a black, a, the, a, the police officer will kill a black woman also. They've been doing it also. They've been beating up black women also. We've seen it as well. We've seen a couple. So y you see, you can't think like that. You gotta, you gotta use common sense. Because all the time, black men have been defending black women. This, there's no credit. They don't give, they, they, they don't give black men no credit. But you see. 
This is the selfish attitude. The selfish attitude is what's divided anyway. This is what's divided black men and women for a long time. This is why you're seeing some black men out their race, dating out their race, dating white women or other races of women, but black women. Because you see the selfishness that comes from a lot of black women, like Cynthia G. It's despicable. And it needs to be addressed. Because you see, this things carry on. <laughs> it's going to be even worse. It's going to be worse, man. Because now that all these things are happening, every single time you turn the TV, you see black men getting killed, you also black women getting killed too. This is what I'm talking about. This, for me, Cynthia G is a, basically, I, I feel like she's, she's some sort of agent of the white supremacy because that is a conquer and divide, you know, type of s strategy right there. That's a, that, that is a conquer and divide. Because you see, you just want to cause a separation between black men and black women. When, you know, black women also getting killed. But I've seen many black men, especially when a, a, a black woman is killed, they come out and say, we have to protect our queens. That's how black men talk about queens, queens, queens. They always defend you, always stick up for you. Because if black men really wanted to be nasty and leave you out there by yourself, you would regret everything you're saying. You you would regret it immediately. Because what you're saying is is problematic. You know what I'm saying? Every single time people try to talk bad about black women, they get you black men, your your Jaquans and Jermaines trying to fight or beat up other black men over you. Even your 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 favorite boy, Tommy Sotomayor, when he talks bad about black women. Who's out there defending black women? Or black men who don't like that, who have mothers, who have daughters, sisters, are threatening to kill Tommy Sotomayor and other black men. Like O'Shea Duke Jackson, they, they, they threaten to hurt them because they're talking bad about black women. But you see, you don't. You don't recognize that. When someone does something for you, you, you immediately don't recognize. But only when black women are out to defend black men, you have a problem with that. And you say you're not a feminist. I call that as a lie. You are a super feminist. You're just jealous of white women. Well, you see, maybe you can learn something from white women. And that's how a little relationship works, man. Because something you know nothing about with that fake hair of yours. And all that makeup on your face, man, looking like Krusty the Clown. You see, you know nothing. And most of your sisters don't know nothing either. They're just talking. But you see, people who talk so much and do so little get really no way in life. It's sad. Well, you know, that's all I have my rant of today is and you know, think about what you're saying.
before you open your stupid mouth and that's all I got to say so if you like this video like comment subscribe and share it I'm out peace